Hey, 12s, thanks for renewing your uh, season tickets for the upcoming 2018 season. Obviously, we're very excited about our process, everything that's been going on uh, in this, uh, this off season. We've had a little bit of a reset here, so we're, we're having a blast preparing for uh, the changes that, are, changes that are upon us. Uh, we have some questions that have been shot at us. Uh, uh, the first one is from Russell Markman, who sits in Club 234. Uh, he asks, uh, what do you consider to be the three most important skills that a Hawks player must possess in order to be successful at the pro level? And uh, that one's, that one's a, a pretty standard philosophy that we have when we approach anybody that we're, we're acquiring. They have to be smart, tough, and reliable people. And uh, then we take their skill set into, the, into um, consideration with that. Smart meaning they need to be able to, to uh, handle themselves with their coaches, uh, know what's going on, study their playbook. Um, they have to be tough, they have to be able to have a certain confidence about themselves, somewhat of a chip on their shoulder, and they have to be reliable pros. They have to be able to show up on time, they have to be able to, to be there every day um, so that we can rely on them to be you know, trusted teammates for the rest of the locker room. But the next question comes from John Thompson from section 326. John says, or he asks, when you were growing up, what did you see yourself doing for a job when you were older? Uh, that one's pretty easy. Uh, basically, I went to school um, uh, at the University of St. Thomas, and I want to uh, uh, teach high school history and, and, and coach. Um, and then when, when Ron Wolf got his job with the Green Bay Packers, I headed down a road of, uh, uh, on the personal side, on the personnel side, which was uh, scouting and acquisition. And I'd always uh, uh, been big into, you know, football trading cards, which, you know, I'm not so sure are popular anymore with, with the advent of the internet and everything. but. Uh, yeah, I, I basically was going to uh, try to be a coach and, and uh, try to help uh, high, school, high school kids. Okay, our next question comes from Ray Jerry from Club 212. Uh, do you think you're a contender this next year or are we in a rebuilding process? The answer is yes, we think we're going to be a contender. We want to be a consistent championship caliber football team every year. That's why you see us making those tough decisions. Now, we've, had, we've been in a little bit of a reset. Uh, we don't like to talk about rebuilding around here because you know we want to be competing with everybody at the next level we don't want to be taking huge dips that's not ideal um, in the national football league we don't want to be a team that's necessarily uh, picking in the top 10 we want to be a, a team that's picking in you know the bottom from 15 down or or uh, preferably at 32 every year so uh, this is the highest we've picked in a number of years and um, you know we're we're not we're not proud of that. We went nine and seven last year, and you would have thought we won three games around here. So uh, we have a very high standard, and and we're trying to to push every day to get back to uh, uh, the playoffs and get in there and get back to, to uh, the championship level that we've been used to around here. Our next question comes from Harvey Williams, who sits in section three thirty one. He asks, uh, with the lack of early draft picks. He's referring to uh, not having a two and a three, I believe. Uh, will you and Pete be listening to all offers for the 18th pick in the upcoming draft? The answer is absolutely. Uh, we've we've uh, shown a propensity to do that. Uh, move back. We've moved back several times, and it's really a, a uh, something that we'll decide really when we're on the clock, uh, depending on what what player is there at 18 and, and what players we uh, foresee being there in the second or third round. Uh, where, we, where we currently have those two gaps. Vicki Anderson from Section 148 asks, uh, working in football seems like such a time-consuming job. How do you keep a good uh, work balance? I think that's a, that's a great question. Uh, but really ties into everything we're doing on a daily basis uh, for the 12s and, and uh, everybody here at the VMAC, uh, which is basically trying to improve in every aspect uh, of, of our personal lives and our professional lives every single day. So, um, you know, I hope I'm doing as good a job as a parent and, and a husband as I possibly can, as well as, um, you know, trying to be a good uh, uh, parent, if you will, here uh, as a leader uh, for everybody in this organization. Uh, Chuck Dubeck, who sits in section 330, has a great question. He says, uh, uh, Chuck asks, please take us inside the 15 minutes that you get to spend with each prospect at the Combine. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish in such a short period of time? And that's, that's an awesome question. Uh, we film our, our interviews. Um, I can't necessarily be in every single interview based on some um, league commitments and other things that I have going on. So uh, basically we, we get as much as we possibly can with, with the coaching staff and, and the scouts that want to ask specific questions that we have prepared for each individual prospect. 
and then uh, we're able to sit back and study those. Um, we're, uh, we're able to study the, the interviews on film and then compare them to the, the combine actually has their own separate uh, interview process. And we do that as well as uh, um, spending as much time you know, away from the room as we possibly can. So uh, that 15 minutes goes very fast and it's, uh, we, you know, Pete's usually in there interviewing the guys, so um, it's, it's, you can get a level of a feeling of like their confidence and, and uh, you know, if they're, they're going to have those, the, the ability to, 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 to fit into our culture here. Anesh Kumar, who sits in se section 122, says, hello, Mr. Schneider. Hello. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for all your hard work. It is appreciated by all us fans who are your uh, favorite NFL, who is your favorite NFL player? Oh, when you were growing up, and that, that is uh, it's a very easy question. Walter Payton was my uh, idol growing up, which was really weird because I, were, I was a huge uh, fan of the Green Bay Packers, and uh, I wanted to be like him big time. I worked, uh, like my off-season workout program was like, try to be like exactly like him, and I tried dressing like him as a, as a player and everything with a towel out front and the spatted cleats and, and everything. So, um, great question, Anish. Hey, thanks for all the great questions, you guys. Uh, appreciate all the 12s and all the support that everybody gives. Look forward to seeing everybody out at, at, uh, at CenturyLink and uh, um, looking forward to just getting after it this season in uh, 2018.